Alrighty then. Kind of loud, right? Ah, uh, the wrong mic. Alright, let's bring this down. Let's lift this up there. Um, last week, who did I have in the house last week? Ooh, okay, yeah, last week was was a listening show. You know, I had, um, uh, okay, I had Ijoma in the house and forever, the I love you message and, you know, from, let's see, what was, what was, what was one, all kinds of messages. <laughs> Honestly, if you didn't, if you didn't check it out, about you know these days, once upon a time, you know, um, it was get back into the kitchen. The kitchen is for the woman. The woman's place is in the kitchen, and all of that. We heard all of that. In fact, some of us heard it growing up and all. But over time, we've come to realize that men have taken over the kitchen. Matter of fact, that's what the show is all about. When men cook, yeah, they've not just taken over the kitchen. We have them sewing clothes. We have them baking all kinds so that we are so good at it. I'm telling you. Matter of fact, I'll read this out for you and um, uh, you tell me what you think. A whole lot of women think that men who can cook are sexy. You know, it's, it's like appealing and all of that. Yeah, yeah. Just give me the nod. Yes, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Skills that will help you stand out to women in the dating world. Well, there are still some women out there who would prefer to take on the kitchen duties and all of that and don't want a man in the kitchen. Most modern women find a man who can cook pleasing in many different ways. Uh -huh. Pleasing and, you know, sexy. Is I mean, this guy, this guy cooks up storms, left, right and center. I mean, the cooking pot is like, what's in there? You know, he pops it out in the plate and it's like, wow, you taste it. And it's like, ooh, it gets into your tummy and it's like, oh, sorry. Really? That, yeah, that, that, that's it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm hungry all by myself right now. We'll go on a quick break right here. And when we come back from... So we're back. Thanks. Thanks a little bit. Thanks. Come on. Let's put it down. There we go. Just a little, a little bit up there. There we go. That's, That's it. That's okay. Hey. I can hear me. I can hear the song. And so the blend is like, we're good to go. All right. Welcome back. If you're just hooking up, this is the men's room. I'm Onimisi Adaba. When men cook, there's one of a kitchen on fire. I mean, everything is on fire, all exploded and all of that. And it's a replica of when women drive. You know, I mean, there was another picture of there was another picture of a car that just ran into the wall. You know, fell off, falling off a cliff, and it's like having a man in the kitchen is like having a woman behind wheels. But I don't believe in all of that. I mean, women can drive. I taught my sisters how to drive. Matter of fact, I taught my wife how to drive, and boy, they're good. And my mama taught me how to cook, and um, I can cook up a storm myself. I'm telling you. Mm. But my own storm is my own storm. <laughs> there are storm cookers and there are others. So I've got me in the house, Uchechi Owo, yeah? And this guy, I mean, we've come a long way. I, I didn't know him as that until I started seeing all of them pictures and I'm like, wait a minute, I know this guy. You know, um, we go way back in Abuja. He was a banker, a finance guy. And all of a sudden, uh, well, okay, for me it was like all of a sudden, but I guess it's been inside of him Suddenly. and he just popped it out and all of that. But we're going to be yeah. talking with him and I was talking with him behind the scenes. He was sharing some deep thoughts that is actually worth your time. We are going to pop the lines open later on, I think, or I hope we'll have the time to do that. Do we have the phone lines? Yeah, yeah. yeah. all right, let's hit them with the phone lines. You don't have it ready. All right, we'll get it ready and we'll hit you with the phone lines so you just have it for keeps and then you can call in and share what you want to share or share your own story. When men cook, Uche, thanks for coming. Good to have you here. Same here. It's been a long time. No. Last time I saw you was in Abuja, right? This is our first time we're meeting here. Right? More than 10 years. More than 10 years? Wow. Wow. I'm telling you. He was in the bank. You know, and um, mm. what are you doing in the kitchen, from the banking hall to the kitchen hall right now? Well, like I told you. <laughs> we yeah, quite, yeah, yeah, we were um, talking behind the scenes. It was always there. Mm. The passion was always there. Mm -hmm. it, um, it just needed the right kick to come out. Mm. And in 2009, I got that push. Yeah. And I gave birth to the skills mm. I had to perfect it because it led to 
for what it had to do with my survival mm. at that mm. point in time. I left the industry, banking industry in 2009. Why did you leave? I, I mean, felt I had reached, I had had enough. I it wasn't as if there was a problem and no, all of that. No, so, no, you no. know, the point I'm trying to get to now is that we all get to that point where, you know, the um, the buzzer goes off in us, as in ding, 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 it's time. It's Do time. something, it's time. So, it was time for you to take the jump, take the leap. You know, it was just, there was a restlessness within me mm -hmm. that I could do more mm -hmm. and I was made for more. And what was it that made me happy? You know, and I realized it you were making a whole lot of money in the boy. Well, you were making well, some good money, it, it, but you were not happy. On, well, it depends on how you look at it. Mm. But there was more to it than just the money. Mm. You know, you needed to think about leaving a legacy behind. Mm -hmm. What do you want to be remembered for? Mm -hmm. Just a nine to five, mm. or you want to leave the legacy of, oh, my dad started so so and so mm. restaurant, mm. or he created so many menus yeah. that people would always replicate it. I just wanted to be remembered for something tangible. And unfortunately, I wasn't a foodie, hmm. funny enough, growing up. Hmm. Um, I'm the last of five kids. My sister, um, I owe a lot to her because she, she, she would um, drag us to the kitchen, hmm. basically, when she had to do a lot of cooking. Hmm. You know, we learned how to do the fried rice on special occasions, mm -hmm. you know, we're in the kitchen, you're chopping up. So that was how you were. That's actually how it started. But I mean, it wasn't as if, you know, it was, I was really, 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 really interested in it. Mm -hmm. You know, you're cutting up the liver for the fried rice and you're popping a few into your mouth as well. You're making <laughs> chin chin. It's also popping into your mouth. I, you know? I, I do, I still do that with plantain. There ain't no way I'll cut plantain without putting two in my mouth before frying it. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and it, it, it went on that way, and um, the, the, let me even start from how it began. Mm. The transition period between secondary school mm. and going to university, mm. I was among the fortunate ones who didn't have to sit at home for too long, mm. and mm. a friend approached me and was like, you know what, rather than us sit back and not do anything, let's learn a skill, let's just do something, you know, to while away time. And I was like, what was it? He said, oh, that, you know, we could learn how to bake. Mm. Oh, okay, sounded interesting. And um, he, he put me through the process. And, you know, our first cakes were flatter than this laptop. <laughs> <laughs> but we have family support. Everybody, I mean, hey, of course, you made family it. Everybody will always support you. The kicks tasted nice, but they just didn't look right, <laughs> you know. And um, <laughs> it, it, it went on for a few months, and yeah. I realized that look, you know what? These are not the sort of kicks we used to get when we were having birthdays yeah. and parties. So, there, <laughs> so what there's was always wrong? something what wrong somewhere, and then I would. Well, what didn't you do? I researched, <laughs> went back, yeah. learned a bit more. So about do you it. bake now? I still do. Oh, really? My Not first, just cooking? Yeah, my first love was actually baking. Mm. And when I got into university, mm -hmm. I plugged into a need there because my school was in the hinterlands and the nearest place to get a decent cake, you would have to travel at least um, 45 minutes. <laughs> through the winding roads, bad so roads. So you just had to key into the oh, yes, I did. And, um, cake making. Not you know, non-flat cake making. Non, no. not, not that. <laughs> and um, my, my cosmates, my cosmates, 20 years down the line, they still tease me that when my lecturers ask, where is Uche? Oh, he's in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm a for a biochemistry major. I'm supposed to be in the lab. I was in the kitchen. Well, that, was, and, that was your lab, actually. Yeah, and you know, there were so many things. I mean, I, I tried to try, I used the traditional method to bake mm -hmm. using sand and a stove. Mm. You know, and yeah, and it, it worked perfectly, and people were patronizing me. You had Valentine's Day, you had birthdays, you had surprise parties, you know. So it's not that the money was rolling in, but you know, hey, I was happy doing it. Gives it gives you some, yes, some, some sense of satisfaction. Now, talk, talk, talk us through because you shared with me, you know, between when you left the bank and right now, the crazy times. And one of the key things you said was, um, you took the better choice and the better choice is usually not um, easy easy choice yeah it usually has its own thorns and ups and crazy 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 turns and all of that talk to me about that well you were in benin you were in benin you were in a 
Abuja, in, in Abuja, Yo, Abuja then Benin, now Lagos. Mm. Um, it, 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 it was a tough journey. Um, I mean, we res do respect to regular nine to five workers. I mean, I respect them a lot, but I just felt, you know what? I really need to do something more. Mm. We have 24 hours in a day. I'm craving for And, you know, I really don't want to be paid 12 times in a year. Mm. I want to earn more. Mm. There's a lot to do with money as well. And the money is not just going to drop on your lap. You have to work for it. And if your 9 to 5 doesn't provide that much, you have to still find something else to do. Mm. Um, yes, I know I had said I wasn't a spring chicken anymore, but nonetheless, we still have the strength within us mm. to do a lot more. So use that strength, use the gift you've been given to try and make wealth. Um, it, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Uh, at times, one of the greatest one of the greatest challenges was convincing my family that I had made the right choice. Mm. Because even to myself at a point in time, you'd be doubting yourself and whether or not you're making I wasn't the right sure choice. I had made the right choice. Mm. You know, when when the storm hits you yeah. head on, and you're you'd like, be like, gosh, man, did what I? Was I, I mean, thinking? And more so when you see your mates, you know, people you 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 were you were mates with in the bank. You see them down the road, and you're like, wow. You know, yeah, not, not to leave regrets anymore. Exactly, yeah, yeah. It was, as I said, it was my choice. Mm -hmm. I wasn't coerced into it. Mm -hmm. I made that decision. I stuck to that decision. And there are days that I would actually say to myself, you know, like you would cry yourself to sleep. Like, really, really, did I have to do this? I could have waited a few more years. But then again, you have that satisfaction on the inside oh, yes. of you that, hey, look, this is this lessons have learned. I can't trade them for anything. Mm -hmm. And you don't get to learn them in any business school. Mm. Mm. This is one lesson that life will teach you and teach you alone. And um, for the few people I've had the opportunity of talking to, I tell them the experience I've gone through is an experience every young person should go through. Now that experience can either make you or break you. Mm. And that choice is also yours. It almost broke me. Yes, to be honest, it almost yeah, I mean, broke yeah, me. No yes, but so then so at good. some point in time, I am with the encouragement of friends mm -hmm. and family as well. I had to search deep within me and look for that strength. Mm -hmm. There's always that reservoir of strength. Even when you think you've hit rock bottom, mm -hmm. there's always that reservoir of strength there. And with God as well, you know, you, you tend to pull back. You know, I'm tripped over the fact that you said you had to look within you because there's there's just so much you can get from the outside, but the real deal is on the inside. There's so much I can tell you from the outside saying, hey, look, it's all right, you can do it, and all of that. But the real deal is on the inside. You know, you looking on the inside and, you know, um, reaching deep down in there to uh, bring it all out and, you know, uh, make the best of whatever situation there is. Yeah? Now, talking about food, how has it been cooking up here and there and all of that? And you're going to tell us about um, any challenging meal you've prepared so far. I mean, what? how does it work? I mean, I'll tell you one of the crazy things I've done. I mean, I cook. Oh, my wife isn't listening right now. I cook, but I haven't cooked in a while, I must say. But, um, you know, I do my beans. I cook my beans with a little bit of honey in there mm -hmm. and then put some plantain in it and then sweet potato in it. From that you can tell that I'm a sweet tooth. Yes I am. And it, it just sends it home man. It's... it's <laughs> yes go home. <laughs> Please click on the red subscribe button below this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.